to or all you bring whatever points of interest in the in the rest of the part one. Keep reading. No, to uh, to bring up whatever topic you you thought. Like Donna, can you can you bring something or any of can you can we bring something that caught your attention when you were reading about mm -hmm. the rest of the of the chapter? that I sent. That was the first part. There is a second part of that chapter. We're going to finish today the first part of the skeptic. So many different points came at me and I wanted to talk about them and now they're all blending together. Let's see then, Stanley. Well, I, I found the skeptic was very much like me. Really? Yes. I mean, he was... Uh, he was I mean, my, my experience has not been deep enough as yet. Perhaps I need to witness some phenomenon, which I haven't. But I think I'm ready to. And I think it would, it would definitely uh, enhance my uh, <clears throat> understanding and uh, practice of it, and perhaps be able to help it. Mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the skeptic, that uh, Kardec was uh, interviewing, <coughs> was answering. Well, no amount of evidence was enough for him, and it wouldn't be. And as as much as as as, as long as I mean I, I'm definitely uh, into spiritualism. I have been forever, but spiritism and and spiritualism are obviously not the same just as every like Kardec says that every you know, spiritist is a spiritualist but not every spiritualist is a spiritist and uh, it, the spiritist spiritism experiences that I have had were pretty strong they brought me here but it still didn't give me that uh, like, that you have, okay, and I can tell that. Okay. The conviction? The, 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 the depth of your understanding and acceptance of it. And I want that. And I, I, as I say, I think perhaps if I were, were exposed to some more phenomenon, it would be very helpful at this point of my life. I see. Anything else that you saw in a skeptic that reminded of yourself? Well, his questions were really very good. You know, I like it too. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Was, like, he was all right, you know, and he uh, he was obviously very intelligent. I see, he's just like me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Do I have cake on my face too? No, no, I'm not head don't. nodding with the intelligent part. That was cool. Yeah, me too. I like it. I I I could relate to what he was asking, and I like it what he was asking, and actually. I don't know if it's the, if you felt the same, but to me, it was like the dialogue with the skeptic was more pleasant than the critic. Don't you think so? Or or not? Oh yeah. You think so? What the, do you think? The critic reminded me of like one of those college professors who like knows everything because he like read it in a book and like, well, this is the way it is, and this is the way we've always done it for the last two hundred years, and. Like nothing the IRC is going to change that, and like, you know, like you get these. I've seen like professors in college that were like just so like, you know. And I'm not saying everyone. I'm just saying like some of these people like, in like academia who who are so like assured of themselves, right. and that nothing's going to convince them. And it's like, you know, right. They, they say you can't graft a new idea on a closed mind. Right. Where the, the skeptic like just has like a few like sort of practical kind of questions. Right. Um, that, you know. So I mean, I, yeah. When I was reading the critic, like. The critic kind of made me cringe a lot of times because the way he like talk like the it, like the conversation like really kind of like gruff almost kind of yeah you know? <laughs> and the skeptic it's like it's almost like they're having a nice tea and and a, yeah just like <laughs> yeah you know, nice dialogue because actually he says in the beginning that he was interested but he didn't know much about it mm -hmm. but he was kind of intrigued kind of right curious about that the whole idea. He was stuck in the middle in one part of the book. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like 
I could be for it, I could be against it, I'm a little both, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so he's like, tell me more. I'm intrigued. I think he used these words, you know, I'm, I'm intrigued or, you know, kind of like I'm curious. Right. This was a fact that he was. Right. Um, and I think for he, for himself, uh, hasn't found any, this part of what we talked about life, you know, to disprove it, right? You can't dispute it because you can't disprove it. Right. Um, so it's kind of like anything else. Is the theory, you know, becomes, even if it's against another theory or navigating another twist of a different theory, until it's disproven, you can't discredit it. You know, therefore, you can't dispute it, right? You're kind of stuck. So, oh, well, tell me more. Oh, I have to figure this out. Let me take a look at this. So now, part of the skeptic uh, was learning, and as Kardec kind of peels back the onion, and that whole activity and the energy behind that is creating more popularity and more interest and more curiosity, right? Um, so it's uh, quite profound. I'd like to uh, comment on Stanley's behalf uh, on his comment um, and kind of like to say uh, you don't have to wait. You use the word, you know, I'm hearing this, you're looking for the miraculous event. The hundred happened to you today, you just missed them all. Excuse Little me. ones. So part of what you had said is you're, you know, you're, you're wanting to see that thing for yourself or feel that. You're looking you, for you, evidence. You were using the word like it's this miraculous yeah. big thing's going to happen. Phenomena. Or, yeah. uh, phenomena. A okay. hundred of them happened to you today, you just didn't see it. A hundred happened to me today, I might have actually caught one of them. <laughs> so it's not about the big things, it's just about the things, the reality of what's really happening. Let me give you an example. You heard of this mother's intuition. Well, men have had intuition too. Something happened. To you. Man, I knew that. We well, already had pre-planned. Something already happened. It was already in there. It was, you were already doing it. You probably worked on it while you were sleeping. You went somewhere else. You learned it in the classroom, for example, right? I'm not mm -hmm. sure what you did that night when you slept. But you were still working or preparing uh, and or your spirit guides. Your friends were invisible, right? Not incarnated, for example. Um, while you're looking for what to do next, thinking about how to solve that, um, you already contemplated, packaged it, created it, and then a week and a half later, you were instantly in this scenario where you go, I knew that was going to happen. And so these are, it's not some miraculous thing, it's a thing that actually showed you, wow, there's, there's more than I'm not sure about. That I have to figure this out. This is what you're studying now. It exists, and you're proving it yourself regularly but um, without a keen observation and this is what spiritism trains us and teaches us we don't catch it all we don't see it all the intuition thing is the easiest thing for me to describe right we've all done it wow I knew that was gonna happen or man I knew you know you just you have that feeling after it happened how could that be be just because you planned for it you prepared for it and there it was provided to you it and you got help it kind of ties into what we were supposed to read this week about this. I'm sorry, my, in my translation is a little different from yours, but mine says spirits, good or ill will to convince. And what they, say, I'm sorry, say that. Spirits what? The spirits, good, good will or ill will to convince. And what he was asking was, um, why don't the spirits try to convince people who are more like influential you know, in society? And the, the spirits kind of came back, or, I mean, I'm sorry, because Alan Kardec sort of answered on behalf of the spirits and said like, the spirit's opinion of who is influential is a lot different than our opinion of who is influential. <laughs> you know, and like where, where we see people like, like we might think of influential people as being celebrities and right. you know people we see on TV and in the media, <clears throat> where the the spirits aren't really, not necessarily are care very much for these people. <laughs> you know, they're yeah. not invested in our personal right. experience. Right. Where, where they're going to take their time and effort and like use their fluids to um, <laughs> to convince somebody or like do some phenomena in front of somebody like famous. I mean, right. you know, we also have Oprah is a very influential person who's trying to right. bring. I don't know. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Dyer was, uh, and his experience was, mm -hmm. was very very influential. Yeah. yeah. So and they actually traveled to different parts of the world. To experience the phenomena. Yeah, well, he, yeah, it's he went down to, to see uh, John of God, I know. Yeah, he was describing yeah. His went experience to it. You know, when he died, he didn't have le leukemia in his blood? No. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, what I did read. He die of? 
Well, he died of something else, heart attack, I guess. But then on Facebook, because I follow his Facebook, I've read, because everybody was expecting to hear that, did he die with the leukemia? He was clean, he was free of leukemia. Everybody wanted to know that. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Oh, yeah, you. yeah. No, no, just, I was just trying to bring us back to the, to the topic is that, is, you know, about who do we find influential and, and what he really, what he really kind of highlights is that the spirit's view of, of things is much different than our view, which kind mm -hmm. of made me, like, I got sort of curious, I started, like, trying to imagine, like, what, like, what does the spirit see, <laughs> you know, how, like, try to even imagine, like, how does the spirit experience mm -hmm. the world and, like, 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 who, who would a spirit, you know, consider important? Mm -hmm. um, but, what, what are your guys' opinion on how could Alan Kardec be so, it was not, it, it is not confident, the, the word is, it's, it's lacking, I'm, I'm lacking a word assured? to say that assured? he was a mix of assured, confident, calm. Mm -hmm. what, what do you opinion. think, what do you think why Alan Kardec was so fair mm -hmm. and confident to bring the answers to the critic and now to the skeptic? What do you, why do you think it's, he was able to be that I, calm and that confident. Why? I, I have a thought on this. Mm -hmm. uh, because for a while, he was the, this critic and the skeptic, and he went through his own evolution, and he was a scientist first and foremost. So science has to do with empirical information. If I can see it, taste it, touch it, feel it, I've got to, it has to be proven to me. I'm not going to just have somebody saying something the scientist is all about show me prove it so then he decided well I'm open to you just said I'm open to it however I'm not going to go to a bunch of people with what back then they certainly called woo woo and we still have to hear that today <laughs> well you know the tables are bouncing and I'm not going to run this and because there are unfortunately so many people who misuse this I don't know what word to use here but this information that comes to them mm -hmm. it might be sullied by their own interpretation of it it might be it, it's it's a it's a combination or it could be all the way from i'm interpreting it this way but it's really just their mind i agree that's zero all the way up to a pure transmission and there's no way of knowing where on this level from zero to zero to a hundred that is so he said i have to find a way to present this to other people who might have the critical thoughts because of the charlatans and all the other people in this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. this arena. Um, I and and then bringing it to the skeptics and then bringing it also to the believers. Mm -hmm. So again, you have the whole spectrum of the listeners and the people who are going to be receiving this information. So you've got to be prepared for any and all things that might come up. Which is why, being the scientist, he said, maybe I believe it, maybe I don't, but I have to find a way with my scientific background to not ask just one spirit in one place and another spirit in another place and another and another and another and another and another and another. I have to bring together all this irrefutable information. I'm going to present it to you. I'm going to put it on a platter. I'm going to let you come to your own conclusions. That's how I see it. Very nice. Thank you. Who else? What is your opinion? Oh, I agree. I agree with what you said, but I think I think it can be summed up with um, he was just being sincere. I mean, there's there's no other way to explain it. He had nothing to. He wasn't lying about anything. He was being honest and sincere about it, and, he, and obviously he believed in it. So mm -hmm. it was very easy for him to, you know, convey that information. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think it goes beyond belief. It mm -hmm. is. Spiritism is really beyond belief, you know. Belief was uh, enough for me for it to be a spiritualist, <laughs> but to have the actual experience of it. Experience goes beyond belief. I mean, if you had the experience, nobody can argue with you about it. You know, this is my experience. I know this happened. I know this. Yes, yeah, so this not I that's know. Right, right, exactly. Right. I know. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's a good word for Kardec. That's that's the word I came up with in the short version, which is new to me, being short. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he had the utmost experience and many hundreds of thousands of experiences, right? And then if we want to expand beyond just talking about him, hmm. um, you know, it, it may be easy to disprove the theory of one man, and this is part of the article. This, this, the skeptic, mm -hmm. and Kardec, part of Art Kardec's answer, you know, one person, right? We we knock that down pretty simply, but we're talking about thousands uh, of you know responses, of thousands from around the world, different places, different languages, different times, all delivering the same common theme, spiritism. Now, so again, now imagine being Kardec in the middle of all of that for years. So the experience is a great yeah. word, I think, in reference to this question. I think it's that that was I nailed it right there. I think it. Um, with Donna, I think it has to do a lot with the fact that he was a scientist and that he used a uh, scientific method. So, in a way, um, I don't know if you can be passionate about science, but you don't need to be passionate about science to be to have uh, authority and i think mm -hmm. the way he approached the whole thing the whole phenomena and uh and the whole issue um was dispassionate and scientific and and that gave him um, you know, the fact that he was uh, very conscious and careful, uh, it, it gave him authority. Mm -hmm. So he, True. He, he had, he, like he, he didn't need to uh, convince or impose, he just, he just had authority. You're reporting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. right. That's a very good point because he was able to present it from both sides because he was well aware that he was going to have the full spectrum of both sides. So he could appeal to the scientist, he could also appeal to the believer, mm -hmm. or even to the people who mm -hmm. have full knowledge and experience. Mm -hmm. He could he could he could address the full realm. Mm -hmm. And he was aware he had that awareness only because he did all his all the, the research. He he basically did the work for us. And, and said, here it is, it's up to you, you, you have your own Exactly, opinion. exactly. I like his explanation to the skeptic, though, about uh, scientifically, and there were things that we, was accepted 20, 50 years ago, or, uh, and this was fantasy, and suddenly this is reality. And, uh, uh, True. And he, and he, and he put uh, spiritism in that same category, yeah. turned it into a scientific framework. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when Kardec <clears throat> witnesses a phenomena, he doesn't accept the phenomena as a fact. You know, he, he was talking about that as they mm. experimented with the phenomena, they would meet good spirits and they meet yep. evil spirits. They meet ignorant spirits, and you know, they, and they. So even even when talking to spirits, they have to be scientific of it as well. And like he, like he actually, I want to say, would have to be a skeptic. Of every spirit he meets, because he says like some of them will come and share elevated ideas, and some of them yeah. have coarse language, and you know, which I, I imagine are probably like yeah. profanity and, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. You know, right. whatever exactly. you know, whatever he would do. <clears throat> yeah, know, just like exactly. you meet people, you meet people that are elevated and yeah, and you know, I don't want to say enlightened, but you know, smarter people and people with yeah. good good spirits, and then you meet people that are, <laughs> you know, I work with some people that are. 
I'm very glad that we have a group here of five Americans so I can have I can ask you this question. Uh, honestly from my heart what I'm gonna ask is not a tricky question, but when I was reading what the this part that Steve was uh, mentioning the how to communicate with the spirits that uh, the elevated <coughs> spirits will only come to meetings where you have you used the word that I never heard in my life hofty 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 thoughts hofty lofty lofty yeah. I said what is this what is lofty but anyways but I understood the content but I never <laughs> that in my life but anyways when I was thinking when I was reading that I said I'm gonna ask this to the guys how come in uh, in this culture in American culture today we have a lot of good mediums that are mediums mediums okay. that I there are giving um, uh, like in a it's it's more it's it's not a show but it's um it's a workshop for a lot of people okay a lot of people like hundreds of people like for example <coughs> uh, what is his name Paul Walker with the Bashar oh yeah uh, the guy I very well the the guy that uh, channels uh, crayon very all good messages by the way all good messages um, the crayon the the lady that channels Esther Hicks. Abraham Esther. Esther Hicks the and there are many others that became very very famous so now Kardec is saying there and the spirits are saying this that uh, so elevated spirit, they're busy. Then they are not available to us 24/7 for whenever we want to call them, and they will come and work for us. It doesn't work like that because they are. You, that's why in the spiritual centers, we have a uh, a date and time to meet, because we we heard from the spirits that we need to be. Disciplined, we need to have you know a serious approach so we can call the spirits. Some mediums like Divado Franco even say for a spiritist group to start to become serious in the eyes of the elevated spirits, they need to be together for 10 years minimum. 10 years. So, yes, they will come, but then. <coughs> This serious work, continue, persistent, continuous work, will call up attention of elevated spirits, because they will see that there is a, a discipline, a consistency, etc., etc. Chico Xavier's mentor, Emmanuel, if you read the books, they're amazing books, amazing. When appear to Chico Xavier for the first time, say, so I want to work with you, we're going to write books. And, and Chico Xavier says, okay, and he goes, I'm just going to ask three things from you. And Chico said, okay, that comes the catch, right? So what is the first one? And Emmanuel said, discipline. Chico said, what is the second one? He said, discipline. And what is the third one? Discipline. So how come... Those mediums here, and they are well accepted by the, our society now, where, the, how do you see that those mediums, they channel at any time those elevated spirits? How, how do you see, what do you think about this? Independent of, of the spiritism of knowledge, it doesn't matter. How do you accept or not, or what do you think about a medium that can channel a elevated spirit at any time. What do you think about that? What is your reasoning saying to you? I have a very short answer. Okay. Who are the people? Daryl Anka, Esther Hicks? It could be any. Oh, okay, but all the ones that, that many people... Okay. Yeah, it could be any that you know that... 
I believe they have a, a, an agenda because they rehash, they have all this information, just rehash it, rehash it, so, rehash it. So do you... They have a personal agenda. So you uh, uh, believe that the, the person is able to call up those spirits and they will come at any time? Absolutely okay. not. I think it's total baloney. Okay, okay. That's I don't trust, I'm just curious. I don't trust them either. No, it's my okay. personal feeling, feeling, right. and belief. Yeah. That's why I want to hear the feeling. Yeah. I don't, you think I, so too? I don't trust them. I don't trust the, the hicks at all. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. She's full of baloney. For many reasons, but. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, that's to me, my she's a hoaxer, right. but it's uh, very successful. Right. I mean, if, uh, if, if Stanley wanted to use the Wizard of His, which I do, and I call him any time, but who is the Wizard of His? He, he, he's, he, he, this is this is my spirit. Uh-huh. And uh, where he gets his information from, I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, her, her calling on Abraham is fine, you know. And I, I, I know the Wizard of His calls on uh, Hermes, and uh, and I get the answers all the time. He always has them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but I'm not on television, you know. And uh, and actually, Hermes was Abraham's teacher. <laughs> so Abraham is is not. But I, I don't person. I don't consider myself a medium. Right. You know, I mean, I, 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 mean I, I contacted my own spirit and this is the uh, Right. And this is a wonderful gift. Right. I'm just curious to, to see, to hear what you guys think about that. I mean, she may be doing exactly the same thing and calling him Abraham, which is fine. Now, Abraham, uh, <clears throat> from what she says, is a group of spirits. A group of spirits. A group of spirits, and they they said, "Call us Abraham." It's right. just a group of spirits. Maybe. And my my wizard says that uh, that he is in every one of you. Yep. And he is. And he's a, so he's a group too. I see. Yep. I see. Well, Sephora, what do you think? Uh, I have no clue. Okay. Really, but I'm just gonna talk anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right. We want to hear. No, um, you have a point, um, but if it is a group, he's of, a lawyer, so here it comes. Okay, go ahead. If, uh, I'm thinking, if it is a group <laughs> of spirits and not just one spirit, then you know, even though they ABC, they can take turns. I'm not kidding. I'm, you know. And but it's supposed to be the mentality of the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can. What be, I understand, they can be in, I thought about that. They can be in syntony. They can be synced. Yeah. And, you know. Of course, we we are not trying. I'm not trying to say that I know everything or anything like that. No, no, no. I just I'm just curious. What is your I, I input also, on this? That's I, just curious. I also think that um, okay, if I ask the question, why do some elevated spirits come to certain uh, spiritist groups? Uh, okay. You know, why do they do that? Okay. They could do anything else, you know, but they choose to come to this, to the center, say, one per week, uh, every Thursday at 6 p.m., you know, they, they right. join the meeting, uh, whatever. So they, I guess they have a message that they want to convey and they want to spread that message and, and they want that message to reach certain people. Right. I mean, I guess that, that's what I can think of. Uh, and, and of course, they are altruistic and, and they are helping and, and so on. Now, the, I guess the way to um, communicate with certain groups, uh, like, you know, the spiritist groups, uh, this is very valid for these groups, and, and it reaches, and, you know, through persistent work and discipline and time, of course. you reach, the group reaches uh, a certain goal with the help of those spirits. Now, with this, uh, 
mediums, we're talking probably about different audiences and different uh, communication needs mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and just a different approach to, to achieve the same goal, which is give some information to certain people that will help them on their uh, journey of self-development. It's just that the audience is different and and they will listen differently to the message. Um, so it has to be, you know, transmitted But the question is, how do you receive the idea that someone can call a elevated spirit at any time? That's that's the question. Yeah, so... How it, this we could we could find a lot of reasons, and we're not trying to find reasons. I'm just no. trying to. What I no, what I mean is, I think anything is possible. I think that's possible. Sure. Too. Well, but anyone, everyone has an opinion. Yeah, that's no, no, what no, I'm trying to opinion. figure out. Yeah, like, for this example, is my opinion. Yeah. Okay. It's possible. It's Scott. So yes. What you, what is a yes? yes. Scott, what is this? <laughs> uh, I think you did a, a great job, and I, and I support, and I like the way you articulated what you, what you were uh, saying. So, two lawyers. Um, <laughs> you're going to send a bill later, okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Paper by the pen. Um, all right, so I think there's a, there's a, there's a background that we need to recognize here, that, that uh, like humans, who they're, they're spirits uh, animating a physical body, um, there are spirits that are good and there's some are not so good. Some might mm -hmm. even use the word evil, but they, you know, they could be ignorant and acting evil. So we can all be good and evil and we can be any variation, an infinite variation from the evilest to the goodest. Okay? Mm -hmm. And all everything in between. So that's what we get to do. Now our will, our free will that we were given by our Creator, is we get to choose what level that is. Our goal on this planet is to evolve to as good as we can uh, we're going to do that through trial and expiation. We're on this planet for those two reasons, to grow. And it's a hard place to live. And you're we're like, here, and we're going to do you're it. You're like Kardec now. So I'm going to answer, like, but there is so no So let me get back answer. to, sorry, maybe, you know, <laughs> you just, I'm, so this is where uh, I'm idling at the moment. So in the same vein, there are speakers and lecturers that are full of it. And they're charging money and fees, and it's right. hard for the people to recognize right. that. And then right. one day they're going to realize, and that place is filled with mean, bad spirits and all kinds of stuff. And when right. they leave there, there's, you know, they're stuck in some of that. It might take them a while to get out of that mess, right? right. Spiritually, right. all the people hanging around them, all those people, those spirits that they can't see hanging around, with all that not so nice thoughts and things. Um, and, and we have compassion for them, and we hope they break out, we set them light mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. There's variations of that. The question I, I answered was yes. So I like the way you put, whether it's the Abraham Hicks or, or this or Hinduism or that or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you find the root core message. It's about evolving us morality, about good doing better, right? When you find that there, then that's a good thing and that's real. You can, it's tangible because that's what our Creator, that's the God's message, right? Now, if the guy's charging a thousand dollars to sit down in the private room, he shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. Does it mean you got the, you received the wrong message? Yeah, that's kind of, I got a love-hate with that kind of thing because the fact that if you read the doctrine, you know, your gifts should be used as charity, not to go make a hundred thousand dollars with for your own personal mm -hmm. gain, right? That's the opposite of selflessness, yeah, sure. uh, right? So yeah. so there's some lines there that you need to evaluate on your own. So at the end, I like the fact there's different ways to deliver the message of the good, and, and our moral ascension is important, and it's not, it's us individually, and it's us as a people. I'm talking about the globe, right? So yourself is part of one species, or whatever word we want to use, called humanity. And my role is to improve me, which contributes to the evolution of humanity on this planet as a whole. And when people understand that this little ant can make a change to the world, then it's, it's hard to contemplate that that little grain right. of sand, but this is the reality of what we're doing. I like what so. you said, that it, it is, it's our responsibility to evolve and to grow, and we will need to learn to... Uh, evaluate what is good for us 
what will help us, regardless of who is giving the message. And we will always have to ponder, right? The message, how, how good it is for us. I like that. But I want to hear the, the rest of it. Well, I just want to take a Go couple ahead. seconds. When we, we can evaluate uh, a good message because of uh, an elevated spirit, and they're all, all the elevated spirits are here helping us, just like we may be more elevated than another human, and we're going to help them if they're in trouble sure. or they're sad. Sure. This, is what, this, is, this is law of nature. Okay? Right, right. Um, so the good spirits won't tell you what to do and tell you what you're doing wrong. This is not. So there's right. certain things you can collect from this information on whether it's right. good and useful for your own guidance, for your own ascension, right? for your own goodwill of learning. And so you can dissect that, and if you listen, to the, you know, the messages will be clear. And if it's kind of trying to drive you somewhere, you know, it's a little different. You, you'll be able to recognize Yeah. It. No, I agree. I like that. And Steve and Manny, what do you guys think about all that? What is your take on that? Um, well, first I want to say something about um, the Hicks, because I'm kind of with her on, on that, and um, but I'm still kind of new to the whole this whole realm so it's it's i don't understand fully i haven't really studied a lot of the hicks but um mm -hmm. um and then abraham is not has nothing to do with the bible it's just a group of spirits right nothing to do with abraham from the that's bible. what they named the group supposedly yeah. named the group yeah they, they said the spirit said we yeah. are Abraham. and so, that, oh, that's so not like, the first time we see this even in um like for example i have these meetings on on sunday and we are guided by a book which was uh uh channeled the book was channeled it's a brazilian medium uh and this the spirit in the introduction says that the spirit didn't write her name is hermans dufo one of the kardex uh, medium she now is a spirit and she now she writes books through mediums but she said i will write this book with a group of the spirits so it would i would not be on my own writing the guidance of this book and there are other occasions that we see that the group of the spirits they say call us this because they don't want to um uh, give one name the other example we have is in the spirits book where we hear the spirit of truth so the spirit of truth is not a one spirit but a group of spirits okay so but anyway it that's a, that's a common thing to hear in mm -hmm. um and not only in the spiritism but everywhere sometimes also, they don't need recognition yeah that's this true is this is another they, reason you know yeah. in, in medium uh in meetings the, the mediums might ask well who right. are you it's not important I, yeah they, they, I see. Okay. you know so they don't need yeah. recognition. it's not part of that world yeah. you know that, that, that might change your exactly you know, your, your good you know, we're, we're exactly. good point yeah and among other things that we don't even know why but they, yeah. it's not necessary yeah. you say oh then you're called this and then all of a sudden you, you exactly know, yeah. oh here here's another and additionally the false you know, there are you know, different orders, classes of spirits, for example, and some are, you know, disorderly, we'll use that word, uh, boisterous and so forth. And they'll claim to be someone in this space. Yeah, um, we, will, we will see that and, in the You know, so there's book. a lot of learning that we can't do. Yeah, we will see that in the spirit. Year. Going a little okay. more. But, I'm sorry, I just... Um, no, it's okay. Um, but kind of going back to your question, it's um, how, how people, they might be able to, you know, at will or, you know, more easily than everyone else summon these these high spirits mm -hmm. um and let's say they can but once once they start to like convey that information or like disseminate it to the people like by writing books or by doing seminars of course that stuff gets kind of expensive so you have to get some kind of compensation for that so sometimes sure. even though it might be sincere it might not be sincere you always have that skepticism of is this person telling the truth because they are getting something for what they're telling us they are getting compensated they are getting you know right. maybe not necessarily rich but a lot of them oh, yeah. do a lot of them do oh get yeah rich. a lot of you know them get, get rich so you said so the question their intention you said the question their agenda you right. know and, and their their um you know their sincerity about it right. but but with the hicks it's a, it's um i mean i've met i mean i have I, like i said i'm new to this realm but i did meet a woman um about a month ago but she was telling me she's the one who told me about the, the about hicks and I had no idea who, who it was, and I watched just a couple of the videos, but I don't know, I didn't, it didn't really, it kind of got some kind of fakeness from it. Like, I mean, like, she's a very, um, you know, um, 
like a confident person. No. You know what I mean? She's a very knowledgeable person. You know, she get, does give good advice. But as far as maybe getting information from a higher power, I mean, I don't know. It's questionable, I, I guess. Right. I'm going to make hopefully just a short sure, sure. comment. Um, I, I think what Stanley said was absolutely beautiful is that the wizard of is, is within each of us. Okay. So each of us has the ability, known to us or not, to communicate with or to interface with. And we do it what all the time. Whatever we, and whoever. we do it all the time. And so each of all us the time. has that. Yeah. And, and Kardec learned and was told if this is pure and real and all the things that we're learning, don't charge for it. Don't do any of these things because then what will happen, it will be filtered through yeah. this. And that's what he did not want to occur. Who, Carter? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just to prevent. He, he sells his books too, right? No, with not his own enough. money. Not he what? Oh, with his own he money. He published with his own money. Not at all. Yeah. So he gives his books away up for free? Yeah, uh, usually the people that channel or write books that they give, like for example here in this, uh, our spiritual center, there is a guy called Umberto Fabri. He channels books and he gives the copyrights to the spiritual center. So that's a, a usual thing. And that's there, a usual fees, thing. fees, right? There's no cost to be here. The fees, you know, rent and the like. Yeah. Right. You know, so, things like this. So yeah. it's a non-profit. So, yeah. Um, and there's, everything's free. You it know, was very you specific. You buy a meal, yeah. you can yeah. help the volunteers. Yeah, we contribute, so, yeah. we have things, sale, yard sale. So, so how, do you, how do you acquire Kardec's books? How you acquire? You can buy it. You can buy the books. You can buy them, right? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. But but that money typically it it goes to the it no goes profit. to a cause. It goes it, to a cause. It does not go to yeah. the, oh, okay. the the right yeah, or the medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like he sells, uh, he sells it for what the cost. Yeah, the he does. Cost. He doesn't make any yeah. profit yeah. from them. Yeah. 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 Like the medium Chico Xavier. All the copyrights went to. Not that I'm questioning him at all. No, no, no. You can. Please do. Please do. That's the place that we can agree, disagree with whatever we like. Uh, uh, our path, our spiritual path is individual. So, anyways, but uh, the Chico Xavier, the Brazilian medium, he channeled like 400 and almost 500 uh, books. And it, he died in poverty. He didn't have any, he didn't get any money. From so he actually wrote 500. Mm -hmm. He channeled. He channeled. Yeah, it's on the 500, and, 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 and all went to, to institutions. Yeah, recorded it. all went to institutions, too. Yeah. Well, what, I'm sorry? All went to, to the copyrights to institutions and non-profit. Different ones, a couple ones. But, but sorry, did you finish it? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm finished. I mean, I had a question okay. for a family, but I, mean, I, can, okay. I can wait till so after. After yeah. Steve, please, yeah. Steve. I was, just, I was just interested in what the Wizard of... Is oh, please, at the end, say something about yeah. the wizard. Come tomorrow night. Come, Come tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Oh, yeah. I can't make it tomorrow night. Oh. Yeah, I have to work. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can watch it. We well, can watch it. <laughs> Probably it's going to be. I'm sorry, May. You had a question about the wizard? Yeah. Well, I mean, he, the way you were speaking, was it you were the wizard of Iz is somebody you're speaking oh, to within yourself? The, the wizard of Iz is the name that I gave to my spirit. <laughs> <after> <laughs> I am guy. Okay. So, well, well, so how are you still skeptical, skeptical if you're speaking to... Your own spirit. Yes. When you, I, I tell you, let me give you a copy of my book. Now. <laughs> you know, um, I wasn't going to, I, I don't like to, like every question that pops up to bring something from Kardec, otherwise we would just go on and on and on because we will have a chance to see all that. That's right. why I try to put all the answers very short. But Kardec explains that in a Spiritus magazine. I don't know if I told you, but there was a guy, there was an experiment with a guy that he was sick and he went to, into a, a deep uh, meditation trance kind of thing and he went to a, a, a memory that he was a doctor. So he was prescribing a medicine to his actual incarnation. Wow. Wow. He was having a meeting with himself. 
you know, he was channeling his part of that knowledge. It's kind of complicated, but mm, I don't know. yeah, because so we that his body was missing. The spirit was asking. No, it was that. because it is all here. Knowledge, the knowledge is all can. here. So, he inquired back to himself yeah, knowledge. He inquired, which, to a past he inquired wow, so he was shocked. To heal the past life. His yeah. past self. No, to heal, like for, example, to for example, to heal the like for example, right now I'm not a, a physician. Mm -hmm. So I go into trance and I tell, channel myself, I get in touch with he myself. You channel the doctor. He, that I channel the doctor and the doctor prescribed and I am, it's all me. So we don't have different lives, we just have one life, the spirit life. So it's kind where of, we access the memory because it's all here with us. It's kind of like how you were saying how Abraham is a group and kind of ourself we're a group as well. There's a group of um, spirits that make up. Not in, in in your this acquired case, knowledge. It's I think it was your inquire, acquired intelligence yeah. that you can't recall right the second. But, yeah. but this it person like, had this ability to go yeah. back because everything you like, say, do, and think or learn exists within your. No, I believe in past lives. I mean, I don't it know. is like pretty yeah. incredible. So, it is like you you know you were five year old kid, but you are not right now. But then, in order for you to play something, that you you would channel that kid that is inside you to remember how to play that game, and then you say to yourself how to play the game. Even though you never knew yourself. Exactly. Before I came to the Spiritist group, I, I had my own philosophy that I developed over a lot of years. I've been on the planet a long time. So to me, the Wizard and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I saw the Wizard of Is as the Holy Spirit. I was not the Wizard, okay? I was uh -huh. standing with all of his problems and so on. But that Holy Spirit would speak to me. And his answers were always correct. Mm -hmm. And like he is, the Holy Spirit was my potential. Just, you know, like I, uh, I'm not him, but he is me. Just as every one of us has, and we come here, if I understand from spiritism, is that we are here to purify the spirit that we have. And when we purify it, it would be that Holy Spirit, because then that Holy Spirit is within inside of all of us. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is Jesus' uh, comforter that he sends us, right? Yeah. right? And it's, all, it's inside of us, yeah. but we have to reach it, we have to get yeah. to it. And I call that my wizard of is, yeah. and I talk to him every day, and you know, yeah. I'd say, uh, That was very clear when Kardec asked, where is, where is the uh, God's law written, and the spirits that said in the conscience? Mm -hmm. And this is so that when we see something that is true for us, we will resonate with it, we will feel it, and we don't have we don't need anyone to prove or say anything because it will resonate. You would just say, this is right for me, I know. Exactly. Right. I don't need proof. I don't need anyone to convince me. I, I know it is right. And I can't really share it with anybody. Yeah, it is hard to share it with your own It is hard. It is hard to I mean, share yeah, I'm telling you now. I don't do that, but I... Uh, yeah, you read the book, yeah. I'm just out there, man. Excuse me. You did write a book. It's sharing with us, it. thankfully. But he can't share his own Sharing the wizard of his knowledge with us through the books. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And tomorrow, and anyways. <laughs> So, I'm Very sorry, uh, Steve, you're going to say something you forgot already. About what question? <laughs> <laughs> the question was that... About the mediums. The mediums. Now, I, I'm not familiar with these two mediums that you mentioned. Uh-huh. I am or familiar, any that you... I'm familiar with, like, the, the American mediums that I met before I found Spiritism. Okay. And that's kind of, for me, actually, at the time, it was actually, it helped me because I was observing phenomena, you know, and I was seeing things, and uh, the medium would say things like as if she was reading my thoughts and things that like just like because they the medium didn't know me very well like for, like then actually we didn't know each other but would like say things about like me and my life that were were totally true and so it like at first i believed but then as i started reading about spiritism and you know so that's why because you said like forget your knowledge of spiritism what do you really feel so i'm like it's really hard for me now because <laughs> but I there, there were times though when i would be listening and um like, if this person does does channeling, and uh, they do it once a month, and 
and they, they have these groups and um, they'll channel elevated spirits or they'll channel like celebrities who just committed suicide mm -hmm. and like wait what within, within a so day, like, elevated a, a, the spirit or and and, a, and yeah celebrity okay yeah like it, this 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 is the one example was um a couple it was a couple of years ago they channeled robin williams like, okay just within the week that he committed suicide okay and, and robin williams is saying you know robin williams is saying that he went out the way he wanted to go out that his life was was perfect it was exactly the way he planned it to be he's not suffering anymore and, and uh and this is, you know, and if you, like, read about spiritism, like, we would have a completely different opinion about it, you know. And, I mean, I love Robert Williams, you know. Right. I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to, like, bring the name up, but this was just one example. It was, like, and it was, like, the same, like, and every time, because there was a couple other times, like, Prince died, you know, the artist formerly known as Prince, and it was, like, the same thing. And it was this message about, like, love and all this great stuff. And it's, it's, it talks about, I think, in the Medium's book, where they say, like, a spirit can sound elevated for a while because they'll copy an elevated spirit but as they go on and go on and go on and they go contradict listen, themselves because yeah. this this one spirit was like saying all the stuff about love and like saying prince died like the way at the right time and the right way that he wanted to go right and it was all perfect and it was all good mm -hmm. but then as the message was going on about love and all this good stuff, and then it started turning into this message about standing up against the government. <laughs> and, and, and it was like, so what? What? Are, what's really going on here? <laughs> you know, like the more you go on and on through the music, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was just listening because I, I mean, because I was like getting more and more skeptical. You know, I used to go and I was just like, I like to sit and listen because I like I hear some good things and I hear some things I didn't really care for. So I'm like, I'm just gonna keep the stuff I like and throw away the stuff I don't like. <laughs> right, you know, right, right, right. Yeah. I've like done it before, yeah. You, you just say kind of like, like, well, what are you talking about? You know, and like, and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, can you, are you people listening to this? And like, <laughs> are you buying this? Do you think he was thinking or is the spirit speaking like? Yeah, like, I mean, they talk about experience. they talk about like a spirit will come and they want people like. Like just like somebody it could be on a Earth, spirit. It like, could be. people on Earth, like you know, what do we desire? Like we have vanity. Like people want to be famous. You know, we want to. We like to take selfies of you know and post them on Facebook and and have uh, followers on a YouTube channel and everything. You know, all these things that we want. And so, if a spirit can get a group of like thirty people or hundred people to like pay attention to them and listen to them, exactly. and yeah, yeah, <laughs> and just keep going on and on. And <laughs> you know, this is this is just what I got from it because like. Because this this person like I mean we're still friends and it's like I hope they're not listening on you know but hope, it's it's like hope not. I mean I try to like talk to my friends about it I say you know like do you really think that like that this is the way it is and my my friends like they just don't believe that a spirit like I was like imagine if Donald Trump died do you, like they really believe that like every spirit dies and all of a sudden they become like sort of part of the whole grand like. Pantheism. Assembly and they all just like know everything and they're all enlightened and they're all perfect. I'm like, imagine if it was Donald Trump and he died. You know, it's just somebody like, like I'm not trying to say anything. But right, it's just right. Somebody like that you really detest. You know, <laughs> like, like and and they pass away and do you think that they suddenly just become like perfect and amazing or do you think that they they kind of like retain their personality and and to me it just like it just doesn't make sense because the more and more. I've never really like convinced anybody to become a spiritist, so I'm kind of like not trying to do that. But right. I, I sort of have some ideas. I'm like, well, what's the point of reincarnating if we're all perfect? You know, like if you say like we're here to to learn something and to become better and to through trial, right. that kind of makes sense. But otherwise, if we're right. all perfect, like why why bother? You know? Right. I would just Doesn't stay make in any bed. sense. It, you yeah. reminded me one of the because I study a lot and I have to see what's going on in a spiritual spiritualism movement. So there is a video on YouTube and with Bashar, the spirit Bashar. I don't know if you heard about it. So this guy, this uh, young guy, he was like in his, uh, I would say in his early thirties. I don't know. But then he goes to Bashar and says, Bashar, because the audience asks questions to the, the spirit that is there, the, the medium that is channeling. So he says, he goes, Bashar, on a microphone, um, I am ready to, I'm ready to go. I am done with this planet and I'm done with my life. I am satisfied with everything that I have done and uh, I'm done. 
This is the medium saying this. No, this is the, the audience, audience. Someone from the audience and saying oh, to Bashar. I see. Okay, and Bashar is the medium. The Bashar is the <laughs> spirit. He's a supposed spirit speaking the spirit through the speaking medium. Through the okay, medium. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's easy to find in YouTube video, and then he talks he talks a lot about the law of attraction and the purpose, life purpose. Anyways, so the guy says, so I I'm done. I'm ready. I'm satisfied with everything. I'm happy, I'm done, and then the Bashar says, okay, move a little bit away from the microphone. <laughs> he goes, okay, okay, now lay down on the floor. He goes, okay, so he lays down on the floor, and he goes like, okay, so if you're done, so you are now ready to die right now, and then he stands up like running, he goes, no, 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 I'm not ready to die right now, wait a minute. Didn't you say you're done with the planet and you're done with your life and you're happy with everything? So, what else are you going to be doing here? You, you're you ready to go. You can die right now. Yes? He goes, no, I don't want to die right now. So, uh, you reminded me telling me this because it was really, really funny because he was asking this question, but he didn't really had a an idea for what he really wanted. So, it was good because it was a topic to talk. And uh, in the actually in the beginning, if you listen to those uh, to those channelers, in the beginning of their career, let's say I don't know if I can say that, they have a very different content in their message. After years of channeling, and they would they become you know famous and big, and Kardec also it invite us to not only to study the content of the messages, not only that, but all the whole thing, the how it started, how did the channeler or medium it started, what was the content in the beginning, and then the evolution of the message. Because coherence. the coherence, could be a coherence and the evolution, because if it's like when uh, someone is studying a poet or someone like a historian, for example. So if a historian is talking about Stanley's life, it will be consistent with his story, right? It is not going to change. In the beginning, we'll say something, and then years later, we'll say something else about Stanley. A historian will like, be consistent. So there are people they know the type of art of Pablo Picasso, for example. They studied the style, right? That is the content of the art. It's the same thing. That's the message of the artist. And so we are invited now by this new uh, phase of spiritualism to, to see the content, to study the content, to meditate about the messages we are getting whether it is the spiritism or some other uh, segment of the spiritualism. But we have to to see what it resonates with us. Mm -hmm. And Kardec was talking a little bit about this yeah, in this chapter. Just, the spirits like attentive and con conscientious students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think part of what you were saying is, is what I was saying and what uh, I'm... We're done. Don't worry. We're After trying to move finish. so that you know again they won't they won't give you advice. Spirit, you know, elevators but don't do that. They they give you messages yeah. to help yeah. you evolve, to help you contemplate what you're dealing with. Good you're points. trying to solve something. Yeah. You can read into your mind exactly. and thoughts, and they know what you're dealing with, and they might say you know, they're delivering these messages to help you or the group or all of you. And they're not going to tell you what to do, they're going to tell you when to do it, they're going to tell you how to do it, right? So these are the things that you'll realize that the boisterous spirits that are not helpful, and fake, you know, mean, not nice. I mean, there's spirits of all, remember, all grades, and they're, they're classified. You can learn here um, the different order of spirits, right? They're classified from not so good to, you know, Jesus Christ. Yeah, my my friend, time. the Chandler, like, but, actually told me to quit my job. And to start like my yeah. spiritual path, <laughs> it was actually my, my like a channel. Oh my like gosh! Like last year, 
And oh, I, wow. I took the advice. I quit my job. You know, I, I mean, Did you really? You took yeah, the advice? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you were going up the street. Right? No, I, I got my job back now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so because these are some basics, you know, that oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's important. So it's sounding really good. It's, 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 it's worth it. Happy anyway. Man, it's worth it. You might really mess yourself. It's sounding really good. If I, if I really, like, if, you know, if I even just had no faith in myself and I had like, what was that and I had all, like, it come oh with my, my divinity, then I probably would still like be self-employed right now. I'd it be, sounded I'd be, really good. Like, the next Joel Olsteen, you know, I'd be doing all this. Stuff. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's difficult, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's hard, it, you know, it's hard it is. To, you know. Yeah, we just have to keep in mind that if the spirits would tell us what to do. Where is the merit, of, our merit of doing something, of learning, yeah. of experience? Of having the, your own communication. Yeah. Because they already lived that, that's why they are evolved. And if they are really evolved, would they say, no, you know, you shouldn't take a left, take a right. No, I, I need to make up of my own okay. decisions okay. so I can learn. Otherwise, it will be somebody else's experience yeah. and not mine. We just have to keep that in mind. I see a lot of people that they they ask me, they're looking for answers. They all they want answers from the spirits right now, yesterday. Trust me, a lot of people. And myself, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. Myself, years ago, I was curious. Although I was reading, I wanted someone to come and tell me what to do. I wanted. Nice. But then, because... Immaturity, right? Little by little, I was learning. No, I will have to get to get this, and to to get it right on my own decisions. Man, I need to suffer. I need to fall. I need to get up. I need to open my eyes the way that I'm supposed to, or close my eyes whenever I want to. But this this is my walk, and nobody can walk for me. That's that's the important. I wish I had read that before I quit my job. Because <laughs> <laughs> after I after I quit my job, I had all this time to start studying. You get you get I started studying and I found out like what they say like oh, gee. like people are like, how come I pray and my prayers don't get answered? I'm always praying for guidance and I never get the answer. And they say like if you're like praying for guidance, like yeah. chances are like like the spirit doesn't want to interrupt your free right. will. Like, right, like right, right. a good spirit is not going to interrupt your free will. Absolutely, because absolutely. They, they have their free will. We have our free will. You know, and and that's why they say like usually we pray for guidance. Our prayers are they go so, unanswered. If, if you think about it, you need it to study. But in order to study, you needed to quit your job. So, so the advice was pretty good in the first place. <laughs> I, I, I came gonna, out on top. Now you're yeah, back yeah, where you were yeah. supposed to. I was going to really bring up the same point was actually you did need to go through that experience. Because yeah, it was absolutely. Learning, a learning exactly. experience, but it was your yeah. learning experience. I mean, it was my choice. It was my, it was my exactly. choice. learning experience. Yeah. But I chose to listen to... It, isn't that funny <laughs> that... I chose to listen to the message that I wanted to hear. You you know? to is, isn't that, that funny that the Spirit said, go quit your job, but the Spirit will not suffer? The consequences yeah. of it, yeah. but somebody else. Is that what Go do it. Yeah. Go jump. Oh my god. <laughs> and another anyway. point about what you were saying about the supposed, all these supposed mediums and all that, you, you made up a really, you didn't make up, you made a good point. Their messages different, differed from when they started to yeah. present, yeah. and also their presentation different yeah. differed. Yes, because this supposed Bashar is very not different. Even, not even a spirit. He's a. Are you ready for this? Extraterrestrial giving the information. Right. And so but that is possible. It's possible. No, I'm not saying possible. it's not. I'm not saying any of it. You know. Well, I'm saying his presentation at some points had a Scottish accent. Right, right. And then Esther Hicks, her presentation yes, yes. had a different accent. Yeah. And, 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 and actually, I am different. actually grateful that it's his, uh, those uh, examples are that exposed right. so we can open our eyes and see for ourselves. You know what? What is out there? I, okay, I need to finish because we are we already passed. We, right. we started late, but we are five, four minutes late. Let me finish and then we continue. Okay, I'm just gonna close with a quick quick uh, prayer. 
<laughs> you want to do the praise, Steve, or I do? We actually just got a question from one of our Facebook followers. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I closed and we, you uh, asked yeah, a question. Just, but do don't close the, the Facebook. Sure, sure. Okay. So, we're going to um, embrace this um, the friendship uh, fluidity and energy that is present here now in this place. And let's be thankful for this gathering. Let's be thankful that we are here together and talking about our spirituality and trying to understand a little bit more about our immortal being and how beautiful is our spirit and how unlimited and in uh, blessings we can be. Let's be thankful for this place that is opening the doors for us tonight. And may we get together here the next week feeling renovated and refreshed and ready for more uh, of this understanding of our spiritual life that we all know, but we are just trying to remember a little bit more day by day in our lives. Thank you so much for everybody in here, and so be it. Okay. Thank you, Cynthia. My yes. pleasure, my yes. pleasure. What is the question? Well, Luciana wants to know ah. why Alan Kardec, sorry, she said, why Alan Kardec reinforced to check the source of the messages of the veracity? Why? Why? What do you think? We answered the same thing we talked about. We already answered that. To, to validate well, maybe they weren't um, the, uh, present uh, during uh, yeah. that conversation. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You gotta go back a little bit. Right. But, yeah. yeah. We agree. We agree. Was it a question? We agree. Yeah, yeah it was to, a to validate the the, the why, from why, the he, why did he why did he reinforce that we needed? I guess what she mean? Why why we why he say we need to check the veracity of the messages? Okay. Exactly. So we don't or get fooled the by veracity. Is that right? Veracity. Would you repeat the question? She needs a so get fooled, right? Exactly. We talked about that. So very good. Yeah. Tell her to listen to. Great it. question. <laughs> Rewind it. And listen from the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> so we get, don't get fooled <laughs> by the messages. We were talking about this. You have to talk. I guess the same, right same as same as you verify whatever somebody Thank here you. in the flesh says. Allowed to bring to them. You, you have to. Yeah. You know, if you're telling me something, of course I will verify it. Steve. Exactly. Right. You know. Uh, <laughs> so same thing with, uh, yeah. with the spirit. You just act the same way you would with somebody here. Yeah. That's well, why nobody believes me when I talk. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people brought up the point, like, well, why do they go to all of these various mediums and channelers and this and that, and you brought, well, really, everybody kind of brought it up, and it's because, unfortunately, they're not awake or aware enough right. yet to know right. that it's here, and it's yeah. interesting that you talk about the Wizard of Is, when the story about the Wizard of Oz is everybody's going to look for the answer from someone else. Yeah, this and is really the good. the answer at the end was, you had it all the time. That's true. There's no place like home. <laughs> <laughs> you were there all the time. Yeah. Full circle right there. But oh you needed my God. to come to your own awareness. Yeah. To your yeah. own yeah. Oh, yeah. and yeah. no yeah. job. We all get there. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot, a lot of us, a a lot of us just want somebody else to do the work for us. Yep. That that yes. is also behind. There yes. are many reasons, and we're not going to judge because we are we've been there, all of us. And but we want somebody to just give us the you know the magic pill. What is the shortcut? Do the job for me. And that, those are the reason behind the fact that oh I'm going to go there and I'm going to pay this this lady this and. Uh, and she would tell me what to do. Like the critic. Let me just go to a couple of your meetings and then I'm going to write a book saying yeah. it's all Yeah, it's all give me everything. Give me the <laughs> <You> good <know>? stuff. <laughs> that will write some, a very good review for you. <laughs> it's like somebody who wants to go to a, a class, but they don't want to study the class. They just want the answers at the end. Exactly. <laughs> Aren't we like this? Yes. Aren't we just like, yeah. I would rather watch the movie than 
read the book. And <laughs> you see? Oh my God. Anyway, that's very good. Thank you so much for coming. Thank it was you. Lovely and wonderful. Wonderful.